What's up guys? Welcome to GoGo -Go Motoring YouTube channel. So I purchased a little accessory for my 2007 BMW 328i Coupe. Anybody want to take a guess as to what that is? Well, I'm going to show you. What I have here is a three-stage intake manifold from a 2006 BMW 330i. So let's talk about why this is important. In 2006, when the E90 BMW 3 Series came out, there were two models available, the 325i and the 330i. The 330i was the top of the line one. It was a sporty one. It came equipped with the N51 engine, uh, producing 255 horsepower and 220 pound-foot of torque. So in 2006, the fastest BMW 3 Series that you could buy from the E90 generation was the BMW 330. In 2007, BMW introduced the BMW 335i, which came equipped with a the N54 engine producing 300 horsepower and 300 pound-foot of torque. It was a twin turbo engine. So the 335i effectively replaced the 330i as the top of the line sporty version in the E90 3 Series lineup. And the entry level 3 Series was the 328i, which is the one that I have here. The 328i came with the N52 engine. It was a three liter naturally aspirated line six, just like the three liter in the BMW 330i. But the difference between them was that the 328i had 230 horsepower and 200 pound-foot of torque. So there was a 25 horsepower decrease between the 330 and the 328i, and there was also a 20 pound-foot of torque decrease in the torque. And that resulted in a zero to 60 time for the 330 being about a half a second faster than the 328i. So what did BMW change in the 328i that made it decrease the power? Well, primarily, it got rid of this three-stage intake manifold that you see here and replaced it with a single-stage intake manifold. That's the primary reason why the 330 has more horsepower. So what a lot of people like to do who own 328i's is they actually want to upgrade the man intake manifold of the engine. So they'll buy the 330, the three-stage intake manifold that you see here, they'll take out the single-stage intake manifold from the 328i install this one and then they also need to purchase a tune right the tune is going to effectively tell the car computer that there is a three-stage intake manifold there with these valves so that the car can start producing more horsepower based on there being a three-stage intake manifold in the engine so this is a very popular modification to the e90 e92 328i and um, it's one that i'm thinking about making. Now, this isn't the cheapest modification to make. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to pay for the labor to install the three-stage intake manifold, and then we're going to have to find a tune um, that we can buy to install into the car so we can recognize we've got a three-stage intake manifold. So I'm still debating whether or not to do this mod, and one of the reasons I'm debating is because even once I do the mod, the horsepower is probably going to go from 230 horsepower to 260 horsepower. So there's going to be a slight increase in the horsepower, but I'm not sure it's going to be, you know, a, a huge difference in how the car drives and feels, uh, you know, once this modification is made. But at the same time, I'm kind of motivated to install the three-stage intake manifold because I think that's going to allow us to get the maximum potential out of this car. Um, I was a little bit bummed that BMW decided to detune effectively the 328i uh, when it released the 335i. And I think they did that intentionally because they didn't want the 328i to cannibalize the sales of the 335i that has just been released. So I'm a little bit motivated to, you know, by the, by the thought of, hey, I can make this awesome E92 328i even better by maximizing its output by installing this three-stitch intake manifold. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, decide whether I'm going to make that investment or not. 
For any of you who have made that investment, please leave a comment below. Let me know what your experience has been, whether you're happy um, with, with that investment. And um, I'll let you know what I decide. Stay tuned for more videos to figure out what happens next. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys. Go!